hey guys welcome to another video how are you guys doing if you're new hey do not forget to smash that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber mm, thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate it so in today's video i'm going to be talking about the 24 books i want to read in 2024 my goal for 2024 is to try not to buy any books guys i really really want to try my best not to buy any books next year but at the same time i know that you know i'm human I might buy and since i'm a buyaholic i don't know there's no way like that if i just cut off buying totally i may not be able to withstand that so i'm going to give myself a grace of five books in three months and if i don't buy five books in three months i'm just going to you know forget about it and buy in the next three months if it's five books you understand what i'm trying to say yeah i think i'm going to do another video where i'm going to talk about this thing deeply so you guys can understand what i'm talking about anyway today i just want to talk about 24 books i want to read in 2024 these books are all standalone books i decided to put standalone books because if i have to have the series i want to read it might be more than i would anticipate so at the end of the video i'll tell you guys the series i want to actually try to read and also some of the books on my kindle but these are 24 physical books because i want to exhaust my tbr my physical tbr must reduce in 2024 in jesus name amen <laughs> so yeah i want to read yellow face by rf kwang i keep on picking it for every almost every month throughout this year and i still don't get to it it's about a lady in the writing in publishing industry i think and another lady stole her work because she's dead and tried to claim her work and then we start to see some secrets according to what i heard i don't know anything I, that's all i heard lessons in chemistry <laughs> by bonnie gramos this was on my tbr in december yeah but i didn't get to it according to what my friend said she said that it's as funny as um my roommate's a vampire and i really really love that book so i want to actually read this one and also she says there's a dog pov here so i'm like okay okay count me in the bodyguard by katrin center honestly this has also been on my tv since jesus knows <sighs> well it's about a girl and it obviously what am i saying it's about a girl and a guy yes it's about a girl and a guy they, got, they are drawn on the cover of course you know on a normal day we would, we would think that the guy is a bodyguard but no she is the bodyguard and he wants to visit his parents and he doesn't want them to know that anything is gonna uh, every, anything is happening so he is gonna fake date with her so that his parents will not you know suspect i think that's actually a very cool concept and a lot of people's favorites too so yes ace of spades by farida abike imide guys this has been displayed on my bookshelf for the longest i think it's about students in school and they're trying to find fight for prefectship well it's a lot of people's favorite and i'm also in love with the cover so yes i must read this i must it has been there as a trophy this is silver sparrow by tyari jones guys i picked this up when i went to Uida bookstore in lagos and what caught my attention was the fact that these two girls have the same father but they are best friends and they don't know i think one of them would know so it's kind of crazy cleopatra and frankenstein guys i bought this because of the cover i feel like the artwork is actually really, really cute so yes i want to read it i don't even know I think it's a romance book. I don't know what it's about. Verity by Colin Hoover. Guys, I need to get into this one. This one. This one. I must get into it. I think this is a thriller. And people say this is very, very mind-blowing. So, I need to get on that train. I need to know what people are talking about. I need to stop being like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I've not read it. I need to read it. So, yes. Verity by Colin This was my recent book haul that you guys will probably see next year. I don't know. <sighs> family law by elizabeth Acevedo. all i know is that they have powers and uh they have they have family dynamics also do you see the cover has been what has been catching my eye since the day i saw this book and i wanted to buy it but i finally bought it so yeah hello beautiful by han napolitano i got this mainly because of the cover but i'm actually interested in the story too i don't even know what it's about but that is me i hardly read the synopsis of books and even when i do read them i i tend to forget what it's about later on so oh pack up the moon by christian egans people say it's about a man and a woman and the woman died but she wrote a letter to him for every day of the year for a whole year and it's a very very sad book so that's why i want to read it i want to cry but then again i feel like ah, these pocket-sized books are quite intimidating so i might end up reading this on my kindle but 
I might also read this physical copy. You deserve each other by Sarah Ogle. Diana actually told me to read this book and I was not able to get into it. It talks about this couple. They are trying their best to destroy their mar marriage for a reason or so. I don't know. Then they probably fell in love while in that process. I think it's actually a funny one. Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. I love this, this, this cover. I love it so much. Everybody says it's a small town romance kind of vibe. But I'm starting to wonder because... It looks like this list is light and this list is night. So why? And people say she always has a dog to her covers. So that's really cute. Ah, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I love Taylor Jenkins' read. I've read Karishoto is Back. I've read Malibu Rising. I've read One True Loves. I've been scared to pick this one up because this tends to be people's or everyone's favorite. But I'm like, what if I don't like it? And all that but i'm overcoming that fear and i'm going to read it beach read by emily henry i've read quite a number of her books i've read book lovers you and me on vacation which i didn't really like happy place yes yeah so i want to read this one beach read but it might be around that summer period but to be honest it's summer every time in nigeria so <laughs> the girl with the louding voice by abby diary i honestly don't know what happens in all these books but i heard that it's like pigeon english kind of vibe so that's quite different another one of people's favorite tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow by gabriel zevin i think it's about two people they play games and something like that the fault in our stars by john green a friend of mine recommended to me i thought that i like books that make me cry and she was like okay i should read this one like to make me cry so yes the invisible life of adila rue this is another one um everybody has read this book except me yes talks about this lady that lived for over 300 years so you get to see her life in all the decades and centuries oh my god love another words by christina lauren i need to read this finally need to read this i've been saying i want to read it i've been saying i want to read it Oh my god, it's a small town romance. A lot of people's favorite also. So, the song of Achilles. I was just discussing with one of my friends on Instagram. And she has a freaking tattoo with something from this book. And I'm like, okay, I need to read it. So, yes. Another friend of mine on Instagram was like, I've not read that child's voice. And you have it? Oh my god, you need to read it. You must read it. So, well, it's not morally great. According to what they say, it's not morally great. But it's so, so perfect. No, actually, the word she used is, is imperfectly perfect. An African book, Wahala by Nikki Me. This word, the title caught my attention. That's why I bought it in the first place. So, I must read it. I must read it. From Look Up With Love by Maria Zapana. Mariana Zapata. I knew I said something wrong. I think it's ice hockey romance. And another one of people's favorites. So, it's been on my TV for long, guys. For long the 24th book is this one when we wear fireflies honestly don't ask me what it's about because i don't know there are colors inside like i see one of the chapters is named red uh, oh my camera is about to die like red this is named red and there are other ones like that blue orange so i want to read it why my camera died i was busy arranging yeah the books here on the book card so everything's here just these two tiers in january when i pick up my tbr with the tbr jar i would actually check here first before i actually now check on the bookshelf because this one's at the priority yes so now let's get to the um series i would like to finish <sighs> i would like to finish the chatter me series because i started i still haven't read ignite me and i have about how many more to go and i also want to finish the chestnut spring series which is actually there. I've only read Flawless. Then another series I want to actually get into is Vance of Thieves and The Vow of Thieves. They are on my bookshelf here. I also want to read The Six of Crows <laughs> because my friend has a tattoo of Six of Crows on her body. And I'm like, okay, wait, where else would they put a tattoo if it's not on her body? Grace. Grace. And I also want to read The Right Move and My Eye. Yes. Ah. I'm not really sure about Akata, but I'm sure about the Naturals series. I have the two books in the series, so I should be able to actually read them. I don't know. Oh, oh, yes, guys. Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I want to read it. I want to read it. Now, let's go to the books I want to read on my Kindle. Like, the priority, when I'm picking up books, I should pick these ones first. Rock Paper Scissors by Alice Finney. Out on a Limb. Ice Planet by Rayerans. 
<laughs> guys i want to read it yes i know it's smooth but i want to read them hooked that's the never after series by um, emily mckenter she wore red trainers before we were strangers done and dusted the house on the Ceruline sea none of this is true by lisa jules then she was gone the only one left by riley sega Oh, The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I hope and I pray that I read these books. At the end of the year, in 2024, I'll come back to this video to refer and actually pick out the books and say, oh, I've read this one, I read this one. So this is like going to be like a checkout for me. <laughs> so you guys are going to actually, you know, call me to order if I don't do this, if I don't do that. So yes, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know which ones are on your 2024 TBR. I'd like to know and I'll see you guys in my next video. Subscribe, don't forget to subscribe and deuces. Deuces, 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 deuces. So, 2024, oh my god, in depth, in depth. I'm going to talk about this thing, TV. Uh, hello. This book has been on my TBR for long too. Everything has been on my TBR for long.